Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. I'm probably going to be trying to keep to doing one of these a week. It'll keep things ticking over, I mean we won't really lose that much touch with Phoenix Point. And we can see the developments as the game comes along. It does mean you're going to end up watching me lose again and again and again. Uh, seeing as we've conquered Fort Freiheit, I'm unlikely to go back to that. We're going to be doing random maps. So let's jump straight in. Now, once again, I should stress, this is a pre-alpha release. This is not indicative of the final game. It is just a, a representation of what they're working towards. There will be bugs, there will be problems, and not to mention I will make lots and lots of mistakes. So if it's like a perfect run through that you're looking for, this is probably not the place to find it. But you will get some good fun here, I hope. So we can already see this dude. In fact, this looks very similar to the map that we had just the last game. So I think I'm going to do a semi-sensible thing and try and disable his machine gun. Uh, we're going to want to move closer before we do that though. Th this is how everything goes wrong. We start off with a sensible idea and then take it from there. Now last time, from the position we moved, he was in cover. In fact, what's, in, what's blocking visibility at the moment? That thing is. So if I just move one space to my right, that may be enough. That's better. We're still going to try for the machine gun. And we missed him completely. Brilliant. Good job, Daniel. Daniel, you suck. Come across here. Now I want to uh, to try and keep people moving forwards so that we can, you know, keep engaging and all things like that. We've got to get a significant number of them reduced before the queen arrives, otherwise we'll just get mullered. And while he's standing in the open, it does seem like a very reasonable opportunity to get some shots on him. I wasn't expecting return fire at that point. Let's get up into cover. In fact, may as well get more into cover. Um, I'm happy enough with where you are. We can bring you one space further forwards. Charge forwards because you're being useless. So you're done. You're done. Shot in the back. Not too much of a surprise that. Until they actually get like line of fire in, it's going to be difficult for us to get the angles right that we need. Now that's just unfortunate. That's better. That's all right. Okay. Three aliens. This guy over here does need to die. You're going to be dangerous. Okay, I think, first of all, he's got a pincer, so we don't worry too much about him. We get this guy killed off. That gives us the flexibility to move in with you to here. And you to here. 
Okay, long range guys. Oh my word, there's quite a few of them around. That is a lot of potential trouble coming our way. And this is the point where we should retreat, but we're committed, so let's stay committed. Uh, let's go for the machine gun, actually. Or the head. Uh, let's go. Let's go for the head. Okay, five damage, and exposed him. We're going to exert ourselves to get some will so we can get into a better cover position from behind. And that will that'll do for the moment. Okay, you can see this chap. Could take out his shield arm. Could take out his pincer. Maybe. Our sniper is not doing what I need him to do. Dude. Try that again. He's, he's shooting high all the time. supposed to be 50% chance that it ends up in this ring that time he shot low you know what I'm just I'm just gonna call him a lost cause just go straight for the head yeah, he's going to die anyway. What a complete waste of ammo that ended up being. So from here, probably the best thing we could do is... Hop directly over. Thereafter, I don't know where we're going to want to go. I know that there's that chap there. We could step up. So many. So many. Good return fire. We're going to need to start medicking everyone up. We don't have any cover here anymore, so we're going to have to do something about that. But first things first. Now this chap is conveniently standing in the open, well semi in the open, he's quite injured already, Carapace has got a lot of armour, but we could go for his legs and hope. That was a bad idea, that was a terrible idea. We're bleeding, there's nothing we can really do. Couldn't even throw a grenade. Oh, what a bad move. I honestly thought we were going to do more damage than that. I probably should have just uh, played it safe and moved around. And I think that's, uh, that's definitely something that I'm learning with the game. Is you can't afford to take those risks.
Let's have a look at this chap over here. How's the visibility on him? None. There is no visibility on him. Okay, well, uh, actually, if we go from this side, we can step into here and get a reasonable shot on this chat. Let's go, like, center mass. So that solves one problem of being shot in the back. We need our sniper in this fight. Um Yeah, we could we could do it with a pistol actually. We could probably make a pistol work. Oh, but there's two down there. I say we could probably make a pistol work. I mean, we've seen what this chap is like with regards to actually shooting things. I just need him to, to ease back around a little bit more. There we go. That was, that was actually terrible. Like, legitimately terrible. You know, just just keep your sniper out. You're in a bad place. And you're going to stay in a bad place. And I think we need to come over this way for some reinforcements on this side. Knowing that there's those guys. Let's step up a little bit to here. Okay, he's backing off and stepping out, taking some shots. And we knew our guy was going to bleed out. He's going to bleed out in three turns. That is like... Mm, I, don't, I don't trust Daniel's ability now. I'm starting to... To, you know, get get a feel for the... Uh, for the soldiers. And when, you, when you've missed... That badly... The trust goes. Let's let's bring him across into cover, and we'll we'll work something out for the future. I think if we pull up a little bit, like this. That seems reasonable. Exertion, reload, so we're ready for next turn. And actually just step over here. Shame about the wasted return fire. With Fog of War that they're going to introduce, that will become less of an issue. Oh man, that really hurt. I do feel like we are quite outmatched. I haven't seen a single crate this game. RNG Jesus does not like us. Ended up shooting his friend, interestingly enough. Although, also destroyed our cover. Q. 
Get in here. Get your med kit on, mate. You need to get your med kit on. And then I don't know what the hell we're going to do with you. Is it really just no visibility over at these? Well, that could potentially work. But you know what? I've got a better idea. Seeing as there is a nice cluster, let's use a rocket. Interesting, I wasn't expecting return fire to actually do a great deal. Uh, so that's Put them right out in the open, of course. Uh, we're not in a position to fight them from here, so let's get into cover. And we can see how that goes next time. Oh man, he's he's taken the brunt of it. He is not in a good way. Um yeah, can't really do a great deal. I mean, we can we can change position so we're in a better place for next turn. I think that's a sensible move. Let's come up here. Uh, you're done. Little bit of a turn fire. They are very heavily armoured. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Somehow, our chap is living through the turn, but he's going to bleed out as soon as it's ours. Nope, there he goes. Oh, and ragdolling off the edge. Now, we could have tried to go a lot slower through the mission, engage the enemies one at a time, but there is a time limit with the queen appearing. So you kind of got to make motions forwards. Let's uh, have a look at this chat. Grenade arm, we could, we could just disable his grenade arm. So with no grenade arm, he should just bleed out. There is actually no visibility on him. That chap up there. That is a little bit of a surprise. Totally fine, of course. Uh, let's move one space further forwards. And I guess we'll leave that there. You can see him. That's no use. What we want is we want you to see someone just inside. He's going to bleed out. He's going to bleed out soon enough. It's the chap at the back that we really care about. You know what, you're actually in a pretty good place here. If we're going to go, um, we're, we're going to go reasonably assuredly. Let's try and rocket this chap at the back. We can see how rockets work with cover in the way. That actually did a reasonable amount. I mean, it's, it's never guaranteed, of course, but that was that was a solid strike. And I think you can probably just stay where you are, really. Right, let's let's pull you to here. 
So finally that chat from the start has bled out. Oh, he's still got a pincer. Wasn't expecting that. Still, he's not close enough for it to be a problem. This chap will be a problem. So, step back one. Oh, that is, that is terrible angle. That is just the worst. Try from here. It's not much better, but it is a bit better. Let's try like that. Okay, at least Daniel hit this time. <laughs> Oh yes, you're heavy, you can't climb. And not enough movement points to get round and in. That sucks. Okay, let's let's start running around the back, because we need to find crates so we can get more ammo or more rockets at least. <sighs> Okay, I don't mind them shooting cover. That's perfectly fine by me. Uh-oh. Is he close enough? No, he's not. But he will be. He most definitely will be. So you know what? Let's let's just not stick around there. Oh, there's a crate just inside. Okay. And with two people left, I don't think we're going to succeed, but we'll last as long as we can. He's going to bleed out. That's not a problem. <laughs> and there is the queen. <sighs> danger, danger, danger. At least I thought he was going to bleed out. We definitely lost one alien at least. No, not quite. Oh dear. Ah. Torso disabled. Jeez. That's a lot of damage. Make it will help. What I need though is I need you out of the way. So we can do this. And this is going to be pretty intense. That is a lot weaker than I was expecting and we've lost our cover. <laughs> Love this game. Love this game. Uh, well, you need to get behind cover, so... Lost a bit of armor. Didn't lose any health. But we have an immediate problem. Bogdai. Bogdai. 
Now I wonder if the Queen's pincers get disabled. Does she have to stop attacking? I suspect not. But we can have a look. Oh, jeez, that, that did, like, nothing. Yeah, not having rockets at this point is a huge thing. So we've got probably just this one turn. Solid damage on the pincer, but... Um, I think, I think this is pretty much us. Absolute murder. And the heavy's not gonna last more than a couple of turns. I am starting to think that the next time I play, I might be better off putting the heavy out in the open to try and soak as much fire as possible. That could be an effective technique. Uh, much in the same way that uh, in uh, XCOM 1, uh, we used to put our mechs out in the open specifically to draw fire. That technique could be effective here. And there's a small chance that they'll like gradually shred and do damage, but it would make us a lot more survivable overall. Right. Damn, you are tough. Bleeding out now. Yeah, now I'm being shot in the side that counts. We didn't actually bleed out though, even though we had the bleed indicator and we only had one health. I'm wondering whether it's got like a partial health system. Hard to say. Also, I'm sure these will have um, a purpose in the future. We'll reload, we can't actually fire it. Uh, we could medic ourselves up and draw it out, but I think we should just let this guy die with dignity. And there we go, another stonking defeat. We gave them an impossible task <laughs> and they did what they could. But with each run through, I am learning more about the game and its mechanics. And I do think that perhaps using our heavy as a bit of a piece of bait might be a worthwhile idea especially when getting overwhelmed like that uh thank you very much for watching though i do hope you have enjoyed this and if you are enjoying these videos be sure to give me a thumbs up as i said i'm probably going to be aiming to get one out per week uh at least until the next patch and then we can see what new developments they have there so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet you should do so now and you'll be told when those videos go live see you again soon for some more phoenix point